Taurus, hello, welcome. This is a new moon reading because we have a new moon tomorrow. It's new moon in Sagittarius, okay, and it's for November. Um, and it's the last new moon before the solstice, winter solstice, which basically means uh, it's a time where things will start to settle down. <laughs> Sounds quite nice, doesn't it? Things should start to settle down the next few weeks. And also looking at the information, um, what we've got is a new moon where Jupiter apparently is going to be very prominent and because of that we've got this Jupiter energy and the Jupiter energy is about kind of like progress, it's about expansion and it's about um, luck as well. <laughs> so actually I thought yeah let's do this new moon reading because you know we've got the new moon for energy for say like the next uh, couple of weeks really yeah uh, until the next full moon the next full moon 7th of december so you know we've got this energy for a couple of weeks let's see what we're getting let's see what's going to be going on for taurus right so and i'll be changing my decks very soon <laughs> so thanks for subscribing if you've got taurus anywhere in your chart you may resonate <laughs> let's see Aloha healing. Aloha healing is heart chakra healing and it can be loving yourself more. Okay. Now it can also indicate love because obviously the more you love yourself, the more you become a vibrational match to love. So there's something here about loving yourself more on the new moon. And becoming more vibrationally matched to love. Taurus, retrieving a dream. So you thought you'd lost a dream, <laughs> but it's coming back. Love could be coming back. <laughs> and also self-love, a whole heap more of self-love, which is important because until you love yourself, you can't really, uh... it's very difficult to find love until you actually do love yourself properly. And that's usually probably the biggest block that you've got to your relationships is that you don't love yourself enough. And once you do you love yourself, that's when things will get added on to you. And it looks for Taurus like you are learning to just love and accept yourself a lot on this new moon. Um, you know, you're making decisions that are right for you and you're going to be quite boundaried, uh, emperor you're actually deciding to take control of the things that you enjoy, take control of your life. You know, this is how it's going to be. And you're getting more clarity on the progress you're making, how you're going to make it, the sort of approach you're going to take, seeing things more clearly. Um, now, you've got here the Five of Pentacles, which indicates some kind of coldness, you know. And, you know, with the Emperor energy, which is... You know, it's caring, but it's it can be quite cold in a way because it's a very boundaried energy. And the five of pentacles is quite cold. It feels like you're sort of saying to people, yeah, I'm not giving myself to you. I'm not I'm not going to like give so much of myself. I don't need to because I'm the emperor. <laughs> doesn't matter what gender or sexuality you are. You know, I'm in control of me. I'm in control of my life. Uh, this is how it's going to be. And you're becoming a lot more settled and and, and sort of like um, rooted in this. Yeah. Um, and, and it's because you, you've got this love healing going on inside you. Um, and I think it may have taken you time to find all of this. But you, you finally, it's something's finally clicking for you. Something's making sense for you finally. Um, so this new moon is going to be really good. And you've also got Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> So you're coming into a very lucky period. Something very good is going to be happening for you if you've got the Wheel of Fortune card paired with this card here. Okay, you're going to be receiving something that you thought you'd lost hope with. Now, it could be something to do with love. And, um, but it's happening because I think you've decided your life, how to love yourself. And it's like, actually, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I'm doing me on this new moon. And then it's going to pave the way the next couple of weeks and really good things to happen. Um, let's have a look at your person. 
What's, your, what's going on for Taurus's person? Eight of Pentacles. Your person's really going to be putting more effort in. Look at that. That's putting more effort in with you. Um, they're putting in more effort with their work and building their life up, but also putting the work in with you. And why is that? <laughs> because you are being more cold and you're not, you're not going to keep running around for these people. It could be one person or a group of people. You're not running around for them anymore. You're actually not bothered because you're too much having fun with yourself <laughs> and someone's going to start putting in more effort. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I'm ready for a fresh start with you. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Uh, let's see what your spirit guides are helping you with. I mean, I think it's quite clear, really. Taurus. Hope. Anticipation. Bright prospects and wish. That's amazing. <laughs> There's something amazing happening for Taurus the next couple of weeks. This this new moon sort of uh, energy is... The spirit guides are infusing you with a very positive energy. And it's magnetic. And it's very lucky energy. Um, and I think it's coming because you've made these decisions to love yourself to love your way of life, to be very clear about how you're living, maybe to be quite cold with certain people. And someone is going to notice and they're going to start putting in more of the effort with you, right? Um, this is a turning point for Taurus, it really is. So that's the message. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for subscribing. If you would like to book in, do contact me. You can contact me on my Facebook page, Awakening Tarot, or by email. Peace.